Hello everybody, my name is Inspirasper, and a lot of you guys have been asking if I could make a tutorial video on how I make more advanced light effects when I make my launchpad light shows. So I decided I was going to go ahead and do that for you guys. Um, if, you could, if you couldn't tell by the intro, I'm going to make an effect that looks like this. Or if I slow that down for you. Looks like that. I think it's a pretty interesting light effect. I use it a lot in my videos just because it's pretty unique. Um, I already have my Ableton session loaded up here. This top row, the green, is just an ex uh, the example, like uh, you can see right here, like I just showed you. And then this red one right here is where I'm actually going to make the light effect. I have everything set up for my launch pad. I have my output you know, enabled and it's all set up. If you don't know how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and watch my Launchpad Light Show tutorial series where I explain how to set up your launch pad and you know everything beyond that. But we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys how I make this effect. You can follow along if you want. And uh, I'm planning on maybe making this like a weekly thing or maybe not in the, within the couple, next couple of weeks because I'm pretty busy with school. The finals are coming up soon, but I was thinking about every now and then I could just, you know, teach you guys how to make an, uh, an effect I like or something like that. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So. We're going to go ahead and make this effect. I'm going to start off, it's just a series of lights moving up and down in different places. So we're going to start off with this one right here. I'm going to put a light right here and we're going to have it bounce up and then down. So we're going to start in this bottom right corner and we're going to move up the launch pad just by, t you can touch it and then move up the launch pad and as it lights up you can select that row. And then once I have it move all the way up, I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it, and I'm going to hit the reverse button. Like I explained, if you've seen my tutorial videos, you you know what reversing and inversing does. So it's going to bounce up. Oops, sorry, let's um, move this out of the way. That way we can actually see our output for this effect. So we're going to have it move up and down, just like this. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to make another one right here, starting, we're going to be working off this diagonal. So we have this segment going up and down, that's fine. Now we're going to build one going right here. Um, I'm just going to move it off to this side right here so you can actually see what it looks like and then later I'll move it into place where it should be. So we're going to start right here and then do the same thing, we're going to do the same thing. Move it up by touching the pads we want. And as they light up, we'll select that on our piano roll. But we're not going to go all the way up. We're going to stop at this diagonal. So we're working off this diagonal to start, like these four. But then we're going to stop at these four. So this one's going to move up to here. And then I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to copy, paste, reverse. So that way, if I play it right here, you'll notice that it, it bounces up and down. All right, so now that we have that, I'm going to copy and paste it at the beginning so it's lined up with this first part, the one we made before. So it looks like that. And now I'm going to do this two more times, one right here, moving up to here, and then one right here. So I'm going to do this one, I'm going to move it all the way up to this right here, and then you know you can do this thing where you copy and paste in reverse, but since there's only four buttons lighting up it's not that big of a deal to draw them in manually. And then I'm going to copy and paste it, put it into place. So right now we have that. And then same thing with this one. This one's really easy. You just move it from here up to here and then back down again. Copy, paste it, put it into place. So right now you have this. Which is looking good so far. Um, so I'm going to keep that right here. You can, you know, change this to whatever color you want. I'll make it a uh, white. Because why not? Because white's not. And so now we're going to do the same thing that we just made right here. Except, picture your launch pad is turned 90 degrees. And we're going to make that effect here. So if I did this, we're going to make the same effect that we just did, but going across this way. If that makes any sense. So we're going to start right here, and I'm going to do this 
um, away from from this first part. And I'll explain that in a little bit as to why I'm going to do that, but we're going to make it right here. So I'm going to start here and move across. Move across the launch pad and I'm going to light up. I'm going to draw notes of where it um, lights up as I touch. So right now we have this, which looks good. And I'm going to do the same process that I did the first time where I start off this diagonal and move to this one and then here, do all that. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it lined up with the first one to begin with, meaning I'm not going to do that thing where I uh, copy and paste it in a different place. That was just so you guys could see what exactly I was doing. Hopefully that helped. So we get this and I'm going to do this one, start at this diagonal. Draw in the corresponding notes. As you can see, it accidentally changed colors there because when you draw notes, if you click and scroll up or down, it can change the velocity settings. Uh, that's fine, I'm not going to worry about that right now because we're going to change the colors in a little bit anyways. So it's not a big deal. So right now, I have this. Where all I did was I followed that same pattern of I started at this diagonal, moved across to the you know, the symmetrical equivalent. It's like I started at this square, for example, and I moved up to this diagonal. And when I say diagonals, again, I mean like these ones. So I started here, moved to here, started here, moved to here, here to here, here to here. So right now we have this. Now the reason why I drew this in a separate place was one, so you guys could see what it was I was doing on this part again. And then two, sometimes I like as you can see in my example, this one right here. As you can see, the ones moving up and down on the left and right are red, and the ones moving left and right at the top and bottom are blue. I just think it looks kind of interesting if they're both different colors. So, so for our example, we have our white going up and down, but then we also have, you know, all white right here. And it can be fine if you want it to all be the same color. I think at the end I'll, I'll compare the what it looks like to have one color versus two different colors, but the reason I moved it separately was that I could change the colors independently. So right now if I have this white going up and down, maybe left and right, I can make a make a pink or something. Let's, let's try that. So now I have this, and that looks good. So I'm going to copy and paste this right here at the beginning. All I did was I selected it and then copy paste. So now we have, oops, at the, starting at the very beginning we have this. And we're nearly done. All we have to do is you can highlight this and then hold alt and then drag and drop. You can also copy and paste it somewhere else and then drag it manually. And then hit inverse which will flip it so that it will be symmetrical. But if we play it right now, it'll look really messed up and weird. We have to make sure that it's lined up properly. This bottom note right here, the last note in this, the part that we copy and pasted, or, well, you know, dragged over, is going to correspond to this bottom left. So we have to make sure that this one, the one that's currently on the A2, we have to make sure that it's going up to the C1. So we have to make sure that it's lined up. And if you look, you can kind of tell already it's it's symmetrical. You can see by these middle ones lining up right here. And if you just look at it, it kind of looks like it already is symmetrical. That's because it is. And so, now when we play it, we have our finished result. And so, that's what it looks like with two different colors. I told you I would uh, compare the differences. So let's just copy and paste it just for the sake of it and make it all a green or something. So I'll play it and you'll see the one with two colors and then wait a little bit and then there'll be one with only one color. Which doesn't look bad at all. If I play this right here. It still looks really neat. I just I just like the you know the design 
of it being two different colors. So then at this point you can maybe change the speed of it, make it go faster. Maybe you could add fading, you know, to it. I'm not even sure what that would look like. Looks pretty cool, actually. So you can go ahead and at this point you can play around with it, add whatever you want. Maybe you can add like a stuttering look to it. Something like that. At that point, it's just whatever you want to do with it. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. That's how you make this light effect. You'll see I use it a lot in my videos or other people's videos. And just thought I'd share with you guys how exactly I make it in case you wanted to replicate it in your own videos. Um, let me know if you want to see more of these videos, if you want me to teach you guys how to make certain light effects. It was just an idea I had, and some people requested I make a tutorial on advanced light effects. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. If you enjoy it, let me know. I can keep you know, making more of this. If not, I can focus on other stuff. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, I will see you in the next video. See ya.